keep your shoulders down. I bet you heard this a million times from your dance instructor. But for some reason they keep rising up. So today I will give you five exercises which will help to keep your shoulders down. What's up amazing ballroom dancers? Alexi is here and welcome to Ballroom with Alexi. Yes, that's right. One of the biggest problems when it comes to the posture is the problem of maintaining your shoulders down. They keep rising up and for some reason it is hard to keep them down, right? So, and that's happened for two reasons. First of all, the muscle, the trapezoid, 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 yes, is that right? Wait. Trapezius muscle. Trapezius muscle, which is uh, is pretty big muscle, it's a muscle in your back. So the upper part of your trapezius right here is getting too tense and that part is responsible for lifting your shoulders up, right? And the part, the lower part of a trapezius right here, which is responsible for lowering it, is getting too loose. So that's why it is fairly easy for you to lift, but maintain your shoulders down is difficult because there is not enough strength in the lower part of your trapezius and as well in the supporting muscles around your shoulder blades. So today I'm excited to share with you five exercises which will help you to develop in strength in your upper body to maintain a good posture. So in a previous video we developed a flexibility, we worked on opening your chest and the mobility of your shoulder blades and in this series uh, we will develop a strength, strength to maintain this good posture. And at the end of this video I will share with you bonus exercise to put your, to put your neck in the right position. All right? Good. So let's jump right into the exercise. All right guys, so for this set of exercise we're going to need the resistant band. I'm personally using a Thera band resistant band that goes in the three different levels. The light one is the yellow, the red one is the middle one and the green is like the, the hardest one. Uh, so you can totally use whatever resistant band you have. I generally think this is a very important tool to have for uh, all dancers at home because you can do so many different exercises with them and work on a different group of muscles. So uh, if you don't have one of those, I will leave an Amazon link in the description below and you can order the same one. Choose the proper strengths for you. I'm going to go with the middle one today because I'm feeling pretty strong. So let's do the first exercise. For the first exercise, so it's going to look like this. I'm going to step on the band and hold it in this kind of position. Yeah, so I'm staying nice and tall, straight back lifted sternum notch and we're going to do exercise which is called port de bras. So we'll move forward. One, two, three, four. So make sure that first of all you're not lifting your shoulders up when you're doing this exercise. So do not use your upper trapezius to move the arm. Make sure that you're using your front deltoid muscles to move the arm forward. When I'm moving arm forward, I'm doing external rotation. So I'm opening my arm like this, open out, right? Not in, but opening it out. Yes, and when I'm moving it back, I'm trying to move as far as I can, yes? So you're going a little bit more on the diagonal right here, right? So not exactly forward, but a little bit more diagonal like this. So and as well, control your lowering. One and lower very slowly. So this exercise you can do 8 to 12 times, yes, on both arms and repeat this three times, three sets, eight to 12 times. Ba -bam. All right, guys, moving on. Next exercise starts in the same position. I'm staying nice and tall, staying straight, and I'm going to move my arms to the side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. 
three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Make sure that you're moving in the frontal plane. Three, four, one, two, three, four. With this exercise, we're working on the middle part of your deltoid muscles. All right, so make sure that same thing. You're working, as I said, on the frontal plane. Do not move your arms forward or back and keep the shoulder down the entire time and use the external rotation out. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So don't rush, do the exercise slow. Control the way you're lowering, don't just drop your arms. Make sure that you're controlling your way down, okay? And this is our two exercise. So third and fourth, two next exercise, going to be one of the most important exercises because we're going to work specifically on the lower part of your trapezius. So for this exercise, I'm taking my band, no, actually not like this, like this. So I'm grabbing my band on top like this, right? So in that, I'm going to move my arms to the side and back and collect together. So notice as well, almost in all of this exercise, I'm using the external rotation of my arm. So I'm not just straightening it to the side, but I am opening it, palms up and thumbs back and together. Thumbs back and together. Thumbs back and contract your uh, shoulder blades together. And one, and two, 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 and one, and two. Fantastic. Eight to 12 repetitions, three sets approximately, all right? And remember to do this slowly. Yes, control your muscles. Make sure that your mind is connected to your exercise. Do not just dream. Put your attention to developing the strengths in your lower trapezius and in entire set of muscles, all right? Moving on, for the next exercise, we're going to change our position. So we're going to sit down, all right, on the floor. If you have mat, you can sit on the mat. If you don't have, just sit like me, regularly, okay? So then I'm putting band around my feet, all right, and crossing. Left goes to the right and right goes to the left, okay? I'm sitting straight, making sure that I keep in through entire exercise, my back straight, and I'm sitting on my hip bones, yes? Good, so feet are flexed. So now with this matter, I'm gonna do this kind of exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you see, so I'm maintaining my back straight and I'm moving my elbows behind, highly contracting my uh, shoulder blades together and engaging lower part of your trapezius. Yes, this exercise is specifically for that. Then I'm pulling it back. So from the back, it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So same thing, you can do this exercise from eight to 12 times and repeat it three, three repetitions. Yay. And the final exercise before I will share with you my bonus exercise for your neck is gonna look like this. So we're grabbing the band, uh, we're keeping our elbows close to your body and now we're just going to move our arms away from each other and together controlling. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, and one, two. Same thing. Control the speed, don't speed up. Yes. As soon as you reach this position, hold it for a couple seconds. Maintain a good posture. Six, contract your shoulder blades together. And please make sure that you're not moving your elbows, right? For this exercise, it's a very isolated exercise. The range of movement is very small. So it's very important to do this exercise correctly, slowly and with, uh, with your like presence, with your attention to the mov movement. All right, guys, super excited to share with you this uh, bonus exercise. I'm actually using this exercise for myself because I am dealing with the disalignment of my head as well. So my head moves a little bit too forward and I have to control it to keep it aligned, my ears with my shoulders. So, and I found that this exercise is very, very helpful. So for this one, you come in close to the wall. You're putting your heels next to the wall, your pelvis, you're trying to put your lower back next to the wall and shoulder plates. Yeah, so now make sure that the head, so it's as well next to the wall, is not like this, right? So make sure that your chin goes lower, yes? And you're looking straight like this. And now from this position, you're doing little like foot long step forward and maintaining, maintaining this plank for three minutes so you stay make sure that you're not dropping your shoulders uh, not dropping your sternum not dropping it like this you stay in it keeping it straight and your chin down yes and keep it for two or three minutes of course right now I'm not gonna stay for three minutes like this but as soon as you'll finish you'll feel how your head naturally moves back and that helps that will be like additional exercise to this entire set. All right, guys, that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that this set of exercise is going to be helpful for you and your shoulders is going to maintain down. And of course, remember guys to be consistent and patient. The posture needs time to be fixed and please make sure that you use this exercise consistently. And that's it for today. Make sure to press like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next Thursday. Until then, work on your posture, take care and enjoy dancing. Wow! <laughs>